Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing your monthly guidance message for December 2024. Now as the year culminates, there may be a few realizations that are coming in during the next few weeks for all of us. Right at the beginning of December, on December 1st, we have a new moon in Sagittarius. This is going to bring a burst of energy. It's also going to bring in the push that we need to take a glance back over the year, to see how far we've come, maybe even a realization on how far we still need to go. Now on December 6th, Mars will go retrograde. This will give us a break on challenges, on conflict, on confusion, and this retrograde is going to happen until February 23rd. So rest, yes, but also take this time to prepare for 2025. What goals do you want to conquer this year? Write it out. Visualize it during this time. Now, on December 7th, Neptune is going to go direct. Venus is also going to enter into Aquarius. So what does this mean? Well, this is going to be a great time for love, for relationships, even for friendships and partnerships. Connection, communication, and overcoming challenges are all going to be easy during this time. For the singles out there, be open to new connections. If you are, there may be a future Prince Charming coming in. Just make sure that you take your time and everything will work out perfectly. Now, for my couples out there, go over your goals together. Where can you help assist one another? And maybe even what help do you need in this next year accomplishing your own goals? Now on December 9th, the moon is going to enter into Aries. This is going to be another little boost of energy. The reason why this is important is because this is the retrograde. So a lot of times the retrograde will feel laggy. It'll feel stagnant. These dates are going to be important as it's when you're going to be able to get the most done. Which leads me to December 15th which is when Mercury will go direct. It will also be the full moon in Gemini, bringing in much needed clarity. So if things have felt stuck, this energy is going to help to loosen things up a bit. December 21st, Capricorn season begins, so the focus will start to shift from love to more practical things. Making plans and taking inspired action is what's going to be important. As we move into Capricorn season and into 2025, let's make a pledge to treat each other with a little bit more kindness and compassion. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. That means they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message for you. I also want you to note the reason why we watch tarot, the reason why we do tarot readings is to see what's about to come so we have an opportunity to shift or transmute the energy. That's why a lot of times you'll hear, hear me talk about what do we need to do to change this or what do we need to do to change this energy. That's the purpose of tarot. So look for that in the message. Seek for that. Now, if it resonates, there will be a link below in the description box for the extended version. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, for my Cancerian friends, you'll feel safe secure and balanced through this energy in the month of December. Even if conflicts arise, it'll be resolved quickly in no time at all. 
December is also a good time to focus on health. So establish or reestablishing a routine, good eating habits, probiotics, taking your vitamins, things along those lines. If you've been feeling under the weather or like things are off, maybe it's time to get a checkup. Just a little reminder. So let's dive in here for you, Cancer, and see what is coming out for you for the month of December. Most important message here for Cancer. Spirit, what do my Cancerian friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Two of Swords, Six of Cups, Temperance, the Chariot. So this energy, the Two of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Temperance, this is you trying to protect your heart. It's like you being closed off to exploring anything new, either with a new person or with a past person. That's the energy that I'm picking up, but I feel like this is going to change here pretty soon with this chariot on the bottom of the deck. So the energy that's surrounding you at this time, Cancer, is the Ten of Wands. Now, this is a heavy burden. Things are feeling heavy. There's a decision that's needing to be made or that has already been made, but you know that there's challenges ahead. There's things in life, challenges in life, that we have to endure in order to get to the next level. Here's the best way to explain it. So when we start going to the gym, when I start going to the gym, when I get back into my workout routine of going every other day or twice a week, when I'm starting to lift those weights, I'm starting with the smallest weight, the two pounder or the 2.5 pounder, whichever that one is, the, the smallest one. And I'm working it out and it's hard for me to do so many reps with that little weight. But after I get into my routine and I've been going maybe two, three weeks doing that two pounder, after a couple weeks, it's super easy. I could chuck that thing if I wanted to. So if I want to continue to build muscle, I have to challenge myself. See what I mean? So there are challenges that are necessary in order for us to move forward in life. It's necessary, okay? The 10 of wands is saying, yes, this is a heavy burden. This is a heavy load. And you're feeling the heaviness of this energy. But this isn't going to last forever. So if we hit the ground running, chariot energy, it'll give us an opportunity to set the stage for a more solid foundation. It'll help us to traverse the challenge a little bit easier, also a little quicker. Okay? And we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, Cancer. But are you on the right path? We have the Nine of Swords. Okay? I do feel like you are on the right path, but there's a little bit of worry. There's a little bit of fear that's holding you back. Try not to overthink, overanalyze the path. Um, take it one day, one step at a time. One thing, especially like when starting a business or maybe moving to a new location, one thing that hinders people from doing those things is focusing too much on like how many tasks we need to accomplish before we can get to that outcome, okay? Sometimes you never know which way you could be directed through this path. So just try to focus on the task at hand. It's good to think about bigger picture vision and then we have to put it out in the ether. We have to let it go, okay? 
And I feel like that's what's coming out. There's a decision that's already been made and you're kind of focused on the outcome. You have to get this off of your heart, off of your chest. So I challenge you, if this is resonating for you, Cancer, find a safe space to talk about it. At the very least, write it out. Do a brain dump. What is a brain dump? A brain dump is simply sitting down with a piece of paper. How I do it is I date my paper so I know because I like to keep track of my brain dumps. I do it often. And then I start the timer for 20, 30 minutes and I just write out everything that comes to my mind on that piece of paper in that moment. So if I do it when I'm frustrated, it may be a lot of angry rage thoughts. If I do it when I'm in this inspirative type of energy, it may be a lot of like planning or future thinking. Okay, so it really depends on what type of energy that I'm in. And that's why I like to date it. I challenge you to do something like that. That's going to help you to transmute this Nine of Swords energy so it's not so heavy. Now what's the challenge here? Cancer for you. Tower. Now again, we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, but this is something that's coming to an end. There's something here that you're walking away from, and this has been a long time coming. But you know, the end of this year, that's the limit. You can't keep enduring with this particular situation. And the first thing that comes to my mind is a relationship. A person that you've been in a relationship with and you've most likely given this person chance after chance after chance and they've always shown you the same thing. You're finally putting yourself first. Putting yourself doesn't feel good and I get it. When we're caretakers, whether it be in a relationship that we've been in for a long time and helped take care of this person, maybe even they've taken care of you. Or maybe you're a mom and have children with this person and because of that you've kind of kept things cordial and now you're finally choosing to put yourself first and it's starting to feel uncomfortable because I don't want to say challenging or sad it just feels uncomfortable because it's different and here's why because you've always put everybody before yourself and now that you're putting yourself over everyone else you feel like it's a sacrifice like you're sacrificing them for you but here's the thing cancer if they have your best interest at heart if they want to see you succeed if they are a true friend a true lover a true partner have a lot of love for you and this connection they are going to understand and so, for example, if this is a partnership and a person isn't changing and you've expressed to this person like, hey, I don't like when you go online and do this or I don't like when you talk to other people, something along those lines, and they blatantly ignore your request, they're choosing not to have respect for the relationship. And at that point, cancer you have to choose yourself first and it's gonna feel uncomfortable because you have always done the opposite so push through that uncomfortability push through that fear because there's beauty blessings waiting on the other side so it's working in your favor three of wands you have a plan you know where it is that you're headed but again it doesn't make it any easier by acknowledging okay this isn't gonna be easy by acknowledging the uncomfortability doesn't feel comfortable to put myself first right now because I've always done the opposite so I need to work that muscle out right and this is exactly in alignment with what you want for your future here's the thing when you start putting yourself first everyone else is gonna follow suit and the people that truly love you, it's not going to be hard for them. They're going to be very 
loving and accepting of these changes. So understand that means that the people that weren't meant to be in your life are the ones that are going to fall off. Those are the ones that are going to fall away. You have to trust that, Cancer. Okay? So what's next? Five of Pentacles, but the, the Wheel of Fortune. So because of the changes, there are some sacrifices that are needing to be made, not only personal. This could be materialistic. This could be finances. This could be business. This could be some sort of monetary value. Maybe even having to move, leaving a lot of things behind. But trust, creator, spirit, whatever deity is your main deity. I say creator because I think of it as creator of consciousness. So creator has your back. That's what this Wheel of Fortune card means. Lean into that. Lean into that love. Trust. Everything is working out in your best interest for your highest good. Even if it doesn't feel that way right now, it is. Okay? So let's clarify. We're going to clarify in the extended version as well as pull over the advice. If that is something that you're interested in, Cancer, the links are all going to be below. Let's pull out a soul journey message here to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Your soul journey message here, Cancer, is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. The message that comes with this card. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention, but you have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge reward from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless chatter of the physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind, so do your best to listen to happy music, read soul-enriching fiction, and be weary of movies or TV shows that can darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cancer, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you're interested in the extended version, links are all below. But If this is where I leave you, Cancer, thank you guys again. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m. Most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also, guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up 
and to interact, whether it be a day or a two day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.